Hello my friends and welcome back to the next episode of our last Palmas food simulation career mode. Before I start, first of all I finally have internet again, today is Thursday and I finally have internet again, I'm uploading everything and uh, yeah, so there might in the next few days be more than one video per day, so if I already uploaded the video you might want to watch out because there might be a second one because there are um, if I talk about today as well, the so first day, from today, first day to Monday, I want to upload two, uh, nine videos, nine videos on five days. So that means on most uh, days there should be two videos. This is 100% the second last episode of this series. But yeah, in October we will play against Besiktas, Eibach, Sevilla and Deportivo in the league. Yeah, Besiktas in Dortmund in the Champions League and against some kind of team in the Copa de España. I don't care that much about the Champions League, but in the league games I want at least 6 points, but normally we should be able to get 7, if not even 9 points. So let's see what we can do. If we don't win this game, I think we will go out. Deeper has to play because Greci uh, is suspended for some reason. If we don't win, we have 0 points. Against Dortmund we probably will lose, so I think we have to win 3-1 to and we do win the game. Lever scores the important goal, so we also have 3 points. Nice. The first league game, it's against Alba. They're losing everything. I think they are last place. They are not good. They have Inui, who is decent, who, is play, uh, who played in the Bundesliga, so I know him. He is kind of decent, but we should win the game. First choice card, come on, we scored. Why did we got a red card? I don't understand. 3 to 1 and... Are you kidding me? We got... Okay, we scored. Then we got two red cards within 15 minutes. And then of course the in we I talked about scores the equalizer two minutes before the end. This is completely bullshit. How did we got two red cards and of course conceded two minutes before the end? And lost two points for no reason. Ah, this is so... Stupid. Napi is going up again, hit the 81 rating. Now the game against Las Palmas. Um, we have to change a few things because of the red cards. Um, Binhachi is playing. Interesting decision that Binhachi is playing. I don't understand that, but okay. And Lever is playing. Okay, they missed the penalty. What the fuck is going on? Like, first they missed the penalty. Then of course Thomas gets another huge injury, I think it's at least his third time already since he plays playing for us. Sanapri scored, that's amazing. And we did actually not concede a late goal, I was so sure that we would. Why did we get another red card? I, I don't understand why we are getting so many red cards. But it's a really important win against Sevilla. Let's have a look, the injury is for 3 weeks, that's okay. Of course Dortmund won the second game as well, so they have 6 points. If we lose the game, I think Dortmund is through and I hope that Besiktas is winning and we will uh, we would have to fight for second place. If we actually can win away in Dortmund, I don't think we are, but if we actually can do that, then I hope that Feyenoord is winning, because then, or at least a draw would be actually perfect, but if somebody is winning, then Feyenoord, because in that case, um, Besiktas would be out. Like, yeah, they would be out, basically. So, let's see, they're, they're scoring goals, it's Dortmund away, the first chess quarter spell, they score after a few minutes, I don't think we can do anything, 3 to 1, and we can't. The away game, I don't understand, I'm even tw uh, training for Zumenza. why if I auto replace, they let Dragic play instead of for Zumenza. that does make sense for me. But yes, Anapia scored 3 to 1, and we do win the game because Gaia scored a second, they get a... A goal as well, but in the end, we got another 3 points. And now we are in great form. But you can see I'm even training him. He is close to going up again. Why Why Dragic? That doesn't make sense. But Thomas is already back from his injury. He will not play in this cup game here. But starting the next game, he should be able to play. Um, Gaia has to play again. Because, uh, yeah, we are getting too many yellow and red cards at the moment. First minute and... They got a red card, how does that happen? How is... How does that happen? I don't understand. 3-1 and in the end we win. 
Of course we have to get an injury and the red card as well, it's like every game now we will get a red card and we will get an injury. It's... I don't understand. Six weeks for labor. Ah, fuck's sake, man. We can actually see some growth. Courtois going up to the 87 rating. Not bad. Anything else? Yeah, Gaia going up to the 83. Not really improving a lot, but it's enough to going up. Um, anything else? He was already... Oh, 97 finishing. But he's just going... I mean, okay, six goals in eight games is really not bad. But he should do that. Backup goalkeeper is going up 71 rated. Fuse Mensa is not... Or did he go up himself to the 77? Or was he already 70? I'm not sure. Oedegaard gone up to the 79. Okay. Finally, some Kof again. In the first season where we bought him, he grew a lot and then he just stopped it all uh, completely. Target 64. Sterzer 74. Chen 77. And that's it. This month is gonna be really, really important because first of all, it's really important in the league because we have especially three amazing games. The Bau, who are, I think, at the moment second place, Barca and Valencia. So three really difficult um, opponents and interesting games for, for sure. Espanyol Barcelona, again, we are playing against both Barcelona teams in the same month, always. In every season that happened. Um, we should win it even though it's an away game and of course it's also really important for the Champions League because there are just three games remaining, two of them we are gonna play today or on this month so it's really important this month for the league and also for the um, Champions League because as you can see Barca is first, Valencia is third and um, Bilbao is fourth place. These are the teams we have to win against if we want to win the league. First up, first choice squad against Bilbao. The comeback from Thomas. They are in good form. We are playing at home though. I want at least a tour, but normally against Bilbao I want to win. 3 to 1 and we do win the game 2 0. Gaia and Sanabria, 9 games, 7 goals. That's what I want to see from him. What an important win. I think we are now in the, into the top 3. Um, but we can't see. We can um, see that Besiktas won, so it's exactly what I wanted. If we lose, I wanted Besiktas to win because now. We just have to win against Feyenoord and Besiktas and we will definitely go for a second place. Why is Munir so dead? Lever as well of course has to get replaced by Sterzer normally. So normally we should see Sterzer playing on the right. No it's Sanapria. That does make sense again man. What the hell are you doing? Okay, they won against us actually. They scored an early goal. Wow. 3 to 1 and it's at least a draw. Sanabria with two goals. Sanabria is in amazing form now. He's scoring a lot of goals. We're playing away, but we should still win it. 3 to 1, and we do win it because Boateng scored the goal. This time the red card on their side. Sanabria actually didn't score for once. But Boateng, that's why I don't replace Odegaard with Boateng. Well, the other way. I'm not using Odegaard but Boateng because even though Odegaard is high rated, Boateng is doing a great job. He's scoring important goals. Getting important assists, he is very important. Barca is destroying the league right now. If we lose against them, they would already be 8 points away. But now we have the big game. At home against FC Barcelona, I will take a tour. They are playing with two Suarez players. Like what? Oh, Sanabria scored, the Dark get to equalize. That's not the base squad. I mean, Messi is not playing, BK is not playing. So there are a few big players on the bench, Boateng as well. We could maybe do it knapp. What is this? Every time we score, they score uh, equalize one or two minutes afterwards. Like, what the hell? Come on, can we get... Nope. Ah, uh, okay. A draw is amazing um, against Barca, but twice we were winning and twice we straight away got the equalizer. We have to learn to defend the lead, man. My goodness. The home game against Dortmund, I don't expect anything against Anapias playing. That doesn't make sense for me. Um, I would take a draw for sure. 3 to 1. And we lose though because Dybala just got up and then straight away scores. Then Bartra on the celebration when all the players celebrated got injured. Bigas got the red card. What the hell is going on? So I really hope that Besik does one because in case Feyenoord won, they won. They have 7 points. We just have 4. Besik has 3. So even if we win, Feyenoord just needs the draw and would go through. Or the better goal defense. In case Besiktas is, uh, is winning, then it's just if we win 
and Feyenoord is not winning, we will go through. So I really hope it's either a draw or a win for Besiktas. Levas back. And now the game against Valencia, we got a win against Bilbao, we got a draw against Barca. If we win this game, it is amazing. Also, it is the game of San Napoli against Lacazette. Lacazette scored, I think, 8 or 9 goals. I think he scored 8 and San Napoli has 7, so it's the two best goal scores in the league. Levante is winning against Madrid, not bad. Barcelona is gonna win, Lacazette scored. Can San Napoli equalize? Can he please do it? Otherwise, it would be really bad and yeah, and this is bad because we want to win the league and now we lost Barca 1 and that means I think we are uh, at least already 8 points behind Barca. We can see a lot of growth, Mensa hitting the 78 rating and Stats have a 75. I must, uh, might stop training Stats straight away because I just wanted to train him up to the seven, uh, 75 and I just wanted to train Mensa to the 78. So I'm not sure who I will train next. I'm not sure. I think Courtois gone up the last month to the 87. If so, then he just gone up again to the 88. It doesn't show me for whatever reason, but I think... I'm very sure he actually grew to the 87, so I think he grew again. 88 weighted. Um, anything else? Uh, Gamara, 84. I think that was not already the case. I think he just gone up to the 84. Of course, Anapia gone up again, 88 rated, 96 ball control, 91 tripling, the 95 shot power and the second highest possible finishing, 98 finishing guys. He does, isn't scoring that often anymore, he had I think 6 goals after 8 games in the last 4 games, he just scored twice, but with an 18, 98 finishing, he really should score a lot in my opinion. Vigas is going down, I don't understand why, he for whatever reason is going down in some mental stats, I don't understand but yeah he's just 78 rated now. December we will have 4 league games, 4 really winnable games, it's against Gijon at home, against Vallecano El Rey, against Malaga at home and against Sevilla Rey, so the game against uh, Sevilla, what the hell, Villarreal is not that easy. So normally in these three games, so the first three, I want three wins, definitely three wins. Against Villarreal, I would accept a loss, but I want at least nine points, at least nine, but normally you should actually get 10 or even 12. The cup game, of course, not important for me, and the game against Besiktas has to be a win. Everybody's fit, basically. I don't care, three to one, and it is a win. Not really a surprise. Leva scored, they got the equalizer, but Viga scored a second. So we are going through to the next round and also getting 100k. Giron at home, they're not a good squad, we are way better, everybody's fit, this has to be a win. I will straight away qu uh, quick sim, 3 to 1 and it is a win, nothing really happened except of one of their, um, them guys getting uh, two yellow cards, why not? And Gnabry scoring the golden goal, nice, really important 3 points, you will see. Besiktas won the game, that's exactly what I wanted. So now Dortmund is doing, of course, is too strong for everybody. Besiktas on 6 points, Feyenoord on 4 and we on 4. Actually not the best goal if it's important, but Feyenoord is better than us. So what has to happen is we have to win and Feyenoord that is not allowed to win. I don't expect Feyenoord to win against Dortmund, I'm very sure they won't. So I'm... 95% sure if we win against Besiktas, we will go through. I don't want a draw because I don't want to get third place. I either want to get further yeah, into the next round in the Champions League or completely out. I don't want the Euroleague football. So either win the game or lose the game. But if we win, I'd, I will still use my second choice spot. But I will have a quick look. Yeah, okay. The league is way more important, so uh, second choice spot. We need to win, and what? Are you kidding me? Both center backs are in, uh, are not allowed to play, are suspended. What is going on with this squad? So many yellow and red cards. So Mer and Kizavich actually have to play in this game as well. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Dortmund is going already. Okay, this is nice. So Dortmund should at least get a tour, but normally they should win against Feyenoord. We need to win. That's all we have to do. Munir scores. Yes, come on. Don't concede, Sanapia, mm, okay. Please don't concede, guys. We need to win this game. Gamal for Udegaard, it's fine. 
getting a yellow card. Last few minutes, Dortmund will win the game. And of course, of course, two minutes before the end, we were going through. And once again, we can't defend the uh, lead. Once again, we have to score a concede in the last few minutes. Like, if it's five minutes before the end. And you know you are winning by one goal. If you win, you're going through. If you draw, you're not going through. Then you park the bus. How do you still concede? And now the one thing that I didn't want to happen happened. We got third place and we are going into the uh, EuroLeague. So stupid. 12 million euros, some money we just don't need really. Now the game against Vallecano has to be a win. They are drawing all the games, but this time they should lose Knappli with an early goal. 3 1 and... It is a really close game actually, but in the end we won. So what happened? Um, I don't know exactly what happened. So Stojanovic got a red card, a yellow card. Then either we scored a second and they made a 2-1. Or other way around, they got equalized and we were winning again. They got with the second goal of Perez the equalizer, but Gamara scores the winning goal. So another red card, but in the end, the important thing is we got another few points. Now we got the home game against Malaga, who were in decent form, but they lost the last two games. Kim has to play because Djanovic, as you guys saw, just got a red card. Knapri is going again, he's scoring a lot of goals. I don't know. So, yeah. Whoa, what the hell? I don't know why Sanapi is not scoring anymore. Maybe he will, but you can see Knapri is just destroying it at the moment. He's just going every time. Gaia scored again, 3 to 1, and it's a final win. Not bad. I'm gonna use my second choice squad and my first choice squad again, even though we just had, I think, two days to rest. But we have enough days to rest um, after this game, and this is important. The name of their one center back, the right sided center back, is it just EA? That's. I mean, even Sol is a nice name, but EA is not. It's kinda. What the hell? So Gamara, uh, Gamara with an injury had to get replaced by Oedegaard Knapi. I told you, he's just destroying it. Krejci for Berateng, I don't understand why you ping on a winger for a center mid. But I don't care because we got the win, we got the 3 points again. Another win, we are still 3 points behind them because Barca is just winning everything at the moment. But we are doing really really good. And of course Gamara is out for 4 months, again. You know the story, he was injured for such a long time, he came back at the end of the season. Like he played I think two games then the new season starts he straight away got injured for two or three months again Came back and I think that happened like in the end of the last episode and now he again is injured for four months And I actually wanted to train him as well. This is bullshit Why? Okay, first of all, I don't understand why the board again says that Mensa for example this time it is Mensa Maybe he has no future here. I don't understand that he is happy. He is playing it does make sense for me. Um, let's also see that Nevelas finally back from his injury. was injured for a very long time. Merkon up himself to the 81 rating. Um, Savage. Wow, not bad. His partner gone up as well. 86 rated. Look at his defending skills. Unbelievable. Chen gone up himself again. 78 rated. Uh, rated. Unbelievable. His growth is amazing. If I would have had him... Quicker, earlier in this series. Amazing, what, an, what a player actually. I might even use him instead of Oedegaard to replace Gamara. I think actually I will do it. In this month we have four important um, league games. Levante, Granada, uh, Iowa should be three wins. Madrid at home. I would take a draw. So, ten points. I would accept nine points. Sorry. But we should get ten. And in the Copa de España we play against Villarreal, I don't really care about them games. Not really surprised that it doesn't make sense, but of course it says he recently arrived, which is not true. And therefore I cannot make an offer for him, which is bullshit. <sighs> it is so frustrating, guys. It is so unfair, in my opinion. Levant at home should be an easy win. Come on, guys. Yeah, we scored in the first minute as well. 3 to 1, and it is an easy 4 1 win. No injury on their, uh, on our side this time. They got the equalizer, but Boateng with two goals, and Knapi is going again. 4 1, important win. Second try squad in the cup. I don't care. I will just quick them. 3 to 1, and it is a loss, which is fine. Uh, Munir scored 
and one of them scored, Acosta then Rodri got. The only bad thing is Deepak got injured. Please don't be injured for a long time, please, I beg. Eight weeks, oh, god damn it. Now we got the game against Granada, I don't understand why Munir is playing and not um, Greci. Doesn't make sense for me, but okay. We should win 3-1 and we lose. After a long time we lost and again, I don't understand it guys. Why did Stojanovic, how can you get already a second tier of the 36 and why do we get two red cards again? Gnabry is going like he is going every game, but why? I, I mean, we are getting like one red card on average per game. And it's uh, at least the third time already in this season we got two red cards in one game. That, I don't understand it. The second leg against Villarreal. They won the first leg 2-1. I hope they're winning this one as well. 3-1 and they... Okay, we win 2-1. They won after penalty. So the worst thing possible. First of all, of course, we had to get another injury. Second of all, uh, of course, we still lost, but we had to lose a lot of stamina. Uh, the worst things are happening to us at the moment. So stupid. So let's have a quick look, actually, how long the injury is. We got 200k, I asked for both for more money. They would give me 5.2 because I might do a transfer two weeks. It's okay. This is a really important game. And Madrid is two points in front of us. Barcelona is four. If we win, first of all, we would uh, go up to second place. And we would just be one point behind Barcelona. If we lose, though, um, Real Madrid would be first place. And we would be already five points again behind first place. So a win today at home would be really important. Odegaard, Rage of course playing for Deepay and Gamara. But please, guys, we need three points. I would take it to I told you. They are winning everything. But we, we three points would be so important in this game. Of course, we had to get another injury, like every game now. We will, be, um, like, I'm 70% sure we will get another red card. Rather for Benzema, okay. They're getting many yellow cards. Binhachi for Savic, are you kidding me? Krejci scores, oh, of course, again, every time. The same in every, every game, again, in the Champions League, against Barca, and every time, every time we score. We will concede an equalizer very quickly, straight away, very often actually, straight away. We can't defend the lead for whatever reason. I don't understand why my team always thinks, hey, we scored a goal, let's let them score a goal straight away as well. It does make sense. But okay, after 19 games, half of the season, I'm really happy because we got exactly two points per game and we are exactly just three points behind first place. Two things, first of all, uh, out for two weeks, that's fine. And second of all, I'm, I'm actually doing another transfer at Espas, we are 50 million and Odegaard. We don't really need the money, but because Gamara will miss almost like the rest of the season, he might come back for like the last month. But I want a good replacement and I decided to switch a 79 rated, bad playing, not growing player, for an 82 rated player who is playing good, has way better stats. And yeah, Basuea will basically replace Gamara and whenever Gamara is back, I might actually use Gamara and Basuea. But I don't want the um, Odegaard anymore. So this is now the team I will use. Basuea next to Boateng. I have at home, we should really win this game. Sainsbury is playing for Savage who is injured, but come on guys, please get a win. 3-2-1, Basuea scored straight away in his first game. 3-2-1 and... In the end, it's an easy 4-1 win with Basuea scoring another one. So Zanabria finally, after I think it was like 6, 7, I think actually more like, I think it's actually like 7, 8 games. He finally scored again. Basuea makes a second, Zanabria makes a second. This time Inouye is not getting the equalizer, but this time he got injured. Invo, he scored a goal again. I told you he's decent. Transfer deadline day, as you can see, Denaye, I think that's how you say that name. Joined Malaga, Mares joined Inter, after he was at Wolfsburg, not bad, and Diakati, also a guy was trying to sign, um, joined Monaco. Um, other interesting deals, nothing too special though, yet, so let's see if anything will happen. La Soccer is going back to Germany, Hoffenheim, and also Drimic joined Sunderland, okay, some interesting deals there. Real Madrid signing for... <laughs> 
50 million Manolas. A guy was trying to sign as well, but he was too expensive for me. 50 million silver. Uh, Bernardo Silva jo joining um, Everton. Not bad. 45 and so it's just 250 million. Kind of okay. One more squad report. Um, yeah, now we can see it again. Uh, Kotwa gone up twice. 88 rated. 21 games, just 6 clean sheets. We are not really the best defensive team. The Randwich 82 rated, uh, going a bit more, 81 rated, um, gonna plus one. Savage 86 rated, gonna plus one. 98 marking, not bad. Fighting against an Apple for the highest debt. Gaia gonna plus one, 83 rated. Uh, Thomas gonna plus one, 80 rated. Boateng gone down, uh, minus two, 77 rated. Mm, but he's still playing good. 19 games, three goals, uh, four goals, three assists is really fine. But we are straight away going here a little bit. One go, <laughs> one game, two goals, not bad. Uh, Zanapia gone up plus 281 rated with 11 goals and 3 assists. Actually, I think he might even be, be the best player because Zanapia, yeah, he actually has more goals than Zanapia now because Zanapia scored 6 goals after 8 and then in 12 games just 4 goals. Kejji not going, he gone up plus 2, 98 finishing and 97 tripling, not bad. He gone up plus 1. Um, Binhachi gone up plus one again, so plus three in total, 81, I'm not winning him, look at that curve, everything going up so much, what a player this is. Chen gone up plus three himself, also the same, such a curve, he's not going physically that much, but except of this, amazing curve. Mensa 78 rated gone up plus two, Leiva 71 rated, uh, 77 rated gone up plus one, Munir 78 rated, didn't go up, Biga 78 uh, rated gone down plus, uh, by one, they're well back from his injury, but yeah, not really a curve yet. Dragic gone up again himself, 66 rated. Uh, Kim not going up yet, 75. Stats are gone up plus 3, 75. Kamara gone up plus 1, 74. And Deepak gone up, uh, not gone up, 81 still. Burry not gone up, 76. And that's it, guys. With this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. We are doing okay. 41 points is... Exactly one uh, two point zero five game uh, uh, points per game. Very happy with that. Sanapia Knappi still have a chance to win it because, like I said, it's not going that often um, anymore as well. So Lu it's Luis Suarez again first place. We are doing great. I'm happy. We have a lot of injuries, but okay, we made a good chance as well. Next episode, guys, is the last episode of this series. The last episode of the last series in FIFA 16. And therefore, for a long time, the last. FIFA 16 gameplay, the last time I will play FIFA 16 for a long time on this channel and not only on this channel, in total. The last time guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, if so please smash the like button. Sorry for my bad English here, yeah, my comedy was not amazing but yeah, I haven't done it for a few days now so I'm a bit out of things. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day, I will see you tomorrow and bye guys.